Hey guys, in this new lesson, we'll be learning the differences between female and fa male facial features. In this case, we'll be working with a cartoonish style. However, it can be applied to any other style. Let's start with the base. We are going to use geometric shapes for the face. First, use a circle for the skull and then a sort of half oval for the jaw. Use lines to mark the vertical and horizontal axis and align the ears to the horizontal axis, which corresponds to the eyes. Use the basic geometric shapes to place the eyes, the base of the nose and the mouth right under it. As I said, employ basic lines and shapes so that we can adapt them to female or male features later on. In my case, as I'm working in Photoshop, I'm going to duplicate this layer to get the two versions we'll be working with. You can do the same if you're also working with Photoshop. If you're drawing manually, simply draw a second face. Let's begin with the first face. We are going to draw the woman here. Make the neck thin and also the triceps. Don't draw strong muscles. There are many types of jaws. I've decided to draw it small, not a square nor pointed. This way will emphasize female features and give it sweetness. We can take advantage of the nose shape we already have. We don't need to improve this feature. When drawing mouth in female characters, we usually draw the upper and lower lips. By drawing them, we provide the character with feminine features. Regarding the eyes, their shape isn't that important. Now I'm going to give them form. I'm going to make the eyebrows thin, since women generally have thinner eyebrows than men. It must, must be remembered that these are generalizations, since not all faces have the same features. It's just for you to get an idea of what we are doing. Add shadows to the superior lip to create volume and draw eyelashes as well. Adding eyelashes help to add feminine features to the character. However, guys, bear in mind that it's just a fashion thing, as women generally wear mascara and men don't. Well, let's move on to the male character. Let's begin with the neck. As you can see, the neck originates at the end of the jaw. It's bigger in men than in women, and also the trapeziers. Mark the sternocleidomastoid and move to the jaw. In this case, I'm going to make it squarer and more geometrical than the woman's jaw. This way we'll get straighter shapes, more characteristic of men. Regarding the lips, we won't draw the superior lip. Instead, instead simply mark the inferior one. But guys, again, these are just stereotypes, and there are exceptions. In this case, uh, let's make the eyebrows thicker. We can even exaggerate them. After adding these features, the character seems more masculine, see? By simply modifying the eyes, jaw, neck, and eyebrows, we've got a different appearance. Another quick tip to masculinize the character is adding facial hair. You can do it by using sim simple lines or by drawing it carefully, as you prefer. Cool, so now that, you've gone, that we've gone through the main differences between ma male and female facial features, in the next lesson we'll, ha we'll be having a look at the main differences when drawing the characters. We'll be using pictures as references. 
I hope that you liked the lesson and that you learned a lot. See you in the next video.